Thursday, 4.30 p.m. It's 3.672 inches. So almost three and three quarters. So you think the origami killer killed Manfred? That makes sense. Hi, my name is Kiwi Cat, and welcome to Heavy Rain Part 13. Kramer, right? Oh, him or Eureka. one of his men. Gordy has the time and the means. All right, so we're back with the PI, and it looks the like they're back at his apartment. It. He's only a suspect. So what is our goal here? What are we doing? He's a pretty guilty-looking one. Are these your files on the case? Yeah, I've been working on them for a couple of years. Uh, I built up a mountain of paperwork. Mm. Magazines about origami? You think the killer could have subscribed to one of those? If he was even yeah. remotely interested in origami in the last 30 years, his name may be in there somewhere. <laughs> There's a notebook I took from Manfred's place. According to this, about 30 clients bought spare parts for royal machines in the last 10 years. The killer may be one of them. Oh, you know, checking out yeah. the alibi of 30 clients one by one, that's a lot of legwork. Except that if we cross-check them with the list, Thank you. The list of subscribers to Origami magazines. You still got that, right? Yeah, yeah. Of course. Lauren, wait. Um, she should be the PI. Dude, get up. Yeah, she's smarter than you are. I'm sorry. If the oh, killer see, the really he's used got the a royal both, typewriter, and if he subscribed to an Origami magazine, his name should be on both lists. Well, right. Lauren. Uh, I mean, that's just an assumption, but yeah, I suppose. Yeah, they His would name be. Is here somewhere. Help me. We're going to find him. Go get this. My sound go out. The only guy whose name was on both lists died when he was 10. What are you gonna do now? Dig up his coffin, make sure he's dead? I know it doesn't make any sense. Unless the killer was only using his name. But why use the name of a kid who died 30 years ago? Well, that's what we came to find out. What? The name is John Shepard. It should be on a grave around here somewhere. Hey, Lauren. He died in 1977. Origami figures. That's one hell of a coincidence. How strange. These flowers are fresh. Looks like someone's still tending the grave. Oh, youngin. That one I knew well. You knew John Shepard? I've worked mm. this graveyard nearly all my life. I remember. Who's coming happened. down here? It was in 77. October, I think. Yeah, good for nothing, hoodlums. Get the hell out of here. God. Beat it, you lousy, no good brat! Twins! Come back when your fucking mother comes home from work! <sighs> He's drunk again. What are we gonna do? It's pouring rain. We're gonna get soaked if we spend a day outside. Well, at least we won't get beat. Little rain never hurt nobody. Come on, let's go play. Bet you can't catch me! Okay. You know, hold it, you hit it. Okay, got it. Is 
So where are they playing at? Looks like the place the what's the name was at? Hey, you don't need to do this if it's too hard for you. No chance, I can do it all right. Just watch. Wait for me! Get a move on! Let's play hide and seek. You go and count to 20 and try to find me, okay? Christ, that's John. Uh, uh, John! My foot. My foot is stuck. Grab on. I'll put it over there. Come on, pull him up. Pull him up. Oh no. What are we gonna do? Hang on, John. I'll get help. Just hang on. Go on, hurry! <coughs> I think the water's rising. <coughs> I'm hurrying! But the poor kid never did find any help. And That's his sad. brother drowned in a pipe full of rainwater. The boy that lived, what happened to him? Well, all I know is he got separated from his parents. I, I, I think he got adopted. Well, looks like a storm's coming. 
I guess I better be now. Getting... Christ, what a horrible story. John Shepard drowned in the rain while holding his brother's hand. Do you think he... He could be the origami killer? Come on, let's get back in the car. Wait. What's the matter? That man over there. Yeah? It's Charles I Kramer. told you! Gordy's father? What's he doing here? What the hell? He's putting flowers on John Shepard's grave. Okay, we're at the Blue Lagoon. This is Thursday. And we're over four inches. Almost four and a quarter, actually. And the boy died five inches of rain. Little coincidence there. Paco Mendez. He's the guy who rented the dock's apartment on Marble Street. I better be careful. He might be the killer. Might be. I like the other dance he did absolutely no music at all. All you can hear is her heels. I'm looking for Paco. Paco Mendez? What? Paco Mendez. Sound Do you know him? I should. He's the boss. He's over there in the VIP lounge. Gotcha. Okay. Thanks. Time to play the sexy girl. Okay, that did not do it. That shirt has got to be done something with. The skirt's too long. There you go. Yeah, because that shit was too long. There you go. Now you look like a hoochie mama. All right, now let's dance. Hey, you! Get your purse. It's your lucky day, sweetheart. The boss wants to invite you to his table. Hey, thanks for accepting my little invitation. You know around here, honey? I think I would have noticed you before. My name's Paco. And you? Madison. 
I'm Madison. Ah, oh, I like the way you move, Madison. <laughs> you making me all hot under the collar. <laughs> Well, maybe we can continue this conversation somewhere more private. Oh, sure, baby. Oh. Yeah, come with me. <laughs> I go in, I make him talk to the gun, and I get out of there before I get into big trouble. Everything's gonna be all right. You're right. Everything is going to be all right. You're gonna get killed, stupid. So, welcome to my little kingdom. <laughs> hmm. I'll take that. Just get in the way of the good things, sweet cheeks. So, show me what you can do. Take it all, <laughs> slowly. Take it all off, baby. You're gonna be kidding me. I'm sorry, um, I, I think there's been a little misunderstanding. Look, look, uh, I I'll, I'll just go. No harm done. Another time. I think it oh, is shit. you who have misunderstood, honey. I'm tired of wasting my time. It's now or never, baby. And I never take never for an answer. Oh boy. You better think. Just like that. The lamp. If only I could find some way to grab it. Oh, I know. Come on, girl. Think of something. Baby, sweet cakes. Sure, buddy. Ah! Yeah. That's what I call kicking butt. You go, girl. Okay. Okay, act two. Let's hear Loverboy sing. <laughs> I'll slap him again. Can I slap him again? Ah! Hell yeah! If you call out, I'll kill you. Got it? Shit. What you want? You rent an apartment on Marble Street. I want to know why. An apartment? I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. Ugh! You fucking bitch! I'm gonna kill you! Okay. Me <laughs> first. You haven't got the balls, lady. But you're going to know balls when I gush up with you. Shepard! His name is John Shepard! That's all I know! I swear it! Ugh. Yeah, oh. that wasn't so hard, was it? I really appreciated this romantic moment, but I got a dash. See you next time, lover boy. Thank you. I was like, God, darn. X's are clearly marked in this place. <laughs> 